Hi, this is Sunny Solanki and you are tuned to Coders Column. In today's video, I will explain how to customize or modify theme of your Streamlit dashboard or web app. I will be using a dashboard that I had created in one of my previous video for explanation purposes. So without further ado, let's get started. So there are two ways to customize or modify theme of a Streamlit dashboard. The first way is a temporary way. So the when you make changes through that way, the changes will remain valid only for particular session. And if you refresh the page, hard refresh the page, then the changes will be gone. And the second way to customize the theme is a permanent. So in that way, you will be modifying a config file and that changes will be there for all the sessions. It will be available for all the sessions. So let's go and let me explain you the first way of modifying the theme. So in order to do that, I need to run my dashboard. So let me open a shell. So I have a dashboard which is available through file saved in this folder YouTube tutorials. So I will run it by executing command streamlit run streamlit with tabs.py. So let me just run this one. All right, so it has started the server and the new tab is open in my browser, which you can see, and it's running the code to load the server. So it should start the server within a second. All right, so the dashboard is up and running as you can see on my screen. It's available through localhost and 8501 port. So the dashboard is a simple one with uh, three tabs data, ingredients, relationship, and average ingredients. So this dashboard I have created using a wine dataset, which is available from a Python library scikit-learn and dataset has information about various ingredients used in creation of three different types of wine. So over here, I am displaying the dataset. As you can see, there are various ingredients, which are column names and last column is a wine type. So this is the first tab. Second tab is a scatter chart, which shows the relationship between ingredients. So over here, you can change the ingredients and it will update the chart right and so this is the second chart so this chart is created using bokeh as you can see over here bokeh symbol and this is the third chart so this is the stacked bar chart and it shows the average value of ingredients for wine type so over here i can select the ingredients and it will show me the average value of that ingredient for wine type so there are three wine type class zero class one and class two so this is our dashboard for which we will change the theme so first of all the simplest way to change the theme is by going on the top right corner and clicking on this button which has three lines and then you need to go to settings over here there is a section called theme so from here you can select the theme so there are two main options light and dark so light is let me select the light and as you can see light is almost same as the system theme and let me select the dark one to show you the change so over here as soon as i select the dark as you can see the changes are made to our dashboard the background has become whole dark let me go to data tab so as you can see over here the total background is dark let me go to this chart all right now pay attention over here as you can see this chart did not change the reason behind this is that that this chart is created using uh, bokeh and it's not created using native streamlit method so if you have created chart using other python library uh, data visualization libraries like bokeh altair and so on then you will need to modify that chart according to this theme so you will need to change background color text color and all that all that grid colors and this axis line colors that you will have to do manually at your end so that it goes along with this particular theme and over here as you can see in this case the background color and text color and line color everything change because this chart is created using a streamlit streamlit's native method so let me show you the streamlit's native method so let me go to that documentation and I will go to API reference and then chart elements. 
so as you can see uh, it let us create a line chart area chart and bar chart so these three charts are native streamlit charts and as far as i know streamlit behind the scene creates this chart using alter so for these three charts and this map one if you change the theme then it will be reflected in the chart but let's say that you have created chart in matplotlib and included it then you will have to do that changes in matplotlib same goes for altair chart same goes for vegalite plotlib okay and so on so if you are using some other library to create chart and including it in a streamlit dashboard then you will have to make uh, that uh, theme changes in that library as well right so as you can see uh, we were able to make changes from here so this is a temporary change now over here you can go ahead and still make more changes to this dark theme so i will click on edit active theme so primary color is this one if i want to change i can change it to this color let's see yeah so let's see so this is the primary color so let me close it so as you can see this primary color has changed over here whenever i, I hover over any tab that color also changes so this is our primary color of the dashboard so let's go ahead and modify other colors this is the background color which is the dark color this is the secondary background color so it's this color which you see behind uh, this multi select that color over here you see behind uh, drop down so this is the secondary color okay and then you can change the text color as well so you can click on and over here you can change the text color as well and it will change the text color so this way of uh, modifying or customizing a theme is uh, temporary the reason behind this i call this temporary is because as soon as i will press ctrl shift r to hard refresh this page this changes will be gone so let me show you that you see as soon as i hard refresh these changes are gone so this is uh, temporary changes anyone interested in modifying the theme can do it this way so let's go ahead and try this second way which is the permanent way of uh, changing the theme now in order to do that we need to modi create a file name config.toml in the folder name dot streamlit so dot streamlit is generally present in the home directory of your operating system and in that folder you need to create a config.tml file if it's already present then that's okay you can i will explain you what text to add over there but if it's it's not present then you will have to create it all right so let's me go to the shell so as you can see the current dashboard is running so i will create a new tab and let me go to a directory name streamlit dot streamlit okay it's the present in home directory so first of all i need to go to my home directory then i need to go to streamlit dot streamlit directory right so now over here i need to create a config.tml file so first of all let me list the contents of the directory as you can see i have single file credentials dot toml in your case if uh, the file name config.tml is present then you can directly edit it and add the contents but in my case it's not present so i will create a new file so i will use a vi command so it's a vi editor available in linux so whatever file name i give to it if file is already existing then it will edit it otherwise it will create it so in my case it's not existing so it will create a new file all right so it's a created new file now i need to press i in order to enter a detail over here so now i can insert the detail so first of all i will copy this tag theme and then i can set a parameter name base and this parameter accepts two value light and dark if you don't provide this uh, parameter then by default the light value is assumed for this parameter so that's why we see light theme so i will set this parameter to dark and then i will press escape and then colon wq as you can see over here colon wq and then enter so now that changes are saved to file and i can see the changes doing cat and cat command config.pml 
so as you can see i have this content in this file all right so now that these changes are done let me restart my server and show you the changes right so the server has started and as you can see the theme has changed it has converted to dark theme all right so now that we have dark theme let's modify few other things like background color and primary color and secondary color so that you can do using this parameters which i have over here so let me open the shell again and let me edit this edit this file config.uml again and i will copy this things over here so primary color is the main color which is dark so i will comment this primary and background color and background color is dark so we don't need and secondary one as well i can change the text color so let me change it to green one and for all the colors you need to provide a hash values so i know that it's rgb format so putting ff now in the center will create a green color and for font there are three values uh, which are valid for font which is a sans sheriff sheriff and monospace so i will change to monospace for our tutorial right so now these changes are done i will press escape and colon wq so these changes are gone i will check the changes so as you can see base is dark primary color background color and secondary background color are commented so these colors won't be used because these are the color for the light theme I have set text color and font as monospace so let's check those changes so let me go to dashboard let me refresh it yeah and as you can see the text has changed to monospace text family and the color has changed to green as well right so now if you want to change other things like you can also change uh, primary color so as it's a dark theme the primary color is uh, dark right let's try to change it okay what happens if we change it to zero zero one two three four five six let me change it to zero zero and let's see the changes yeah so it's a, again it's a dark color as you can see over here it has become total dark color primary as you can see the background color is not exact black but the primary color i set as you can see is the exact black All right so let me just try to change background color as well to dark and see how it looks so hash value consists of six characters followed by hex right so let's paste the changes right now you see it's a total dark okay and i should not keep primary color as dark so let me change that as well i will change primary color to white okay so changes are done yeah so now when i hover over it so okay now the text color needs to be <laughs> black color so let's do that last changes and we are almost done with our tutorial all right so let me just uh, remove all the changes get our default theme back so you get the idea like how you can change the colors so that's why i made these changes yeah so i will set it to default black theme all right so that changes are done let me refresh the dashboard and yeah so we have a dark theme with all the default values set so yeah that's it for today's tutorial in today's tutorial i explained how you can change the theme of your streamlit dashboard in two ways either you can set it temporary by using that uh, three buttons over here 
or you can do it uh, permanent by modifying this config.tml file and in config.tml file you can specify the base theme using this base parameter and you can also change uh, other colors after specifying the base theme like you can change primary color background color secondary background color and so on so yeah that's it for today's tutorial if you liked our video and you feel that you learned something new today then give it a thumbs up let us know if you have in, any doubts in the comment section and subscribe to our channel if you are looking for more tutorials on topics like python machine learning data science data visualization and so on yeah that's it see you next time